Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and I wanted to share with you a quick little tidbit video. So this is my big art journal book. I kind of feel like this is the one that I use the most because it's a little bit of a bigger area. I'm not going to flip through it today. I will do a flip through it when I'm done and as you can see where the white pages are, that's um, where I haven't done any pages, but I've been cutting out some of the signatures because it is getting quite thick. You can see uh, wherever those little spaces are, that's where I've cut out signatures. And it's kind of helped the spine relax a little bit. And um, I probably will eventually have to maybe break the spine. Uh, I don't know how to do that yet, but <laughs> I'm watching videos to see if I can remember it or figure it out. Um, the other thing I was going to tell you is, um, I'm just going to see, share with you, like I've, I've been pulling out the signatures. Um, these little threads in the back are getting a little weak. So I'm going to have to start working from the back forwards now because I don't want to like have all those threads come loose. So I've, I already know that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, but what I wanted to show you for today's little tid, tidbit video is I want to flip to a couple pages here. So I have been doing some artwork on like just plain, you know, hot press paper or watercolor paper or just paper in general. But I feel like it's getting lost or it's just not where it needs to be and I don't want it to get damaged. So I would rather put it in my art journal and then it's just there, you know, than to have it lost. So what I have been doing is you see this beautiful washi tape right here. Um, I actually washi taped in my artwork. So it's literally just putting washi tape on one side, making sure the paper is right along the spine and then washi tape on the other side. And then these ones are a little bit shorter. So it's the same process. However, it's just like I uh, put the washi tape and then kind of rip it on the top and bottom and then washi tape on the side and then you know rip it on the top and bottom so that it flips really nicely so that's what I've been doing um you can see like some of the pages are a little bit like longer than these pieces of paper in the book and there are some of them are a little bit taller if you can see like let me see if you can there uh, hang on this will be a good one so you can see they just stick out above the top of this page but it doesn't bother me because it's an art journal it's not meant to be uh, perfect it's just meant to be artwork so you can see like I put one piece of paper here here was a page that's in my uh, book already and then I washi tape this one in and then this is the back side and you can see like I don't care if it's you know one's that way and one's that way it's all just artwork so um here is a couple other ones I'll show you here so there's this one that I just did and it was two pieces that I did separately um like they're all one piece but it was two pieces of paper right so I just washi taped them in together so now I have a complete spread this way and a complete spread that way and it doesn't hinder anything right so I am just going to go to a different section I'm going to show you how I did it so I'm going to take this one and I'm actually I think I'm going to put it this way first so you can see it doesn't fit the whole page so again I'm just going to take some washi tape and then I just kind of put it on the um, piece of art it actually you know what I'm going to have to go to the other side because that modeling paste so and sometimes you just have to work with your art so and then I just go like that down the side and then I'll lift it up and rip off this excess and then I'm just gonna match it up to the spine just make it relax a little bit here let's flip to another page where I know it's gonna relax a little bit more stand it up in that spine if you have to Okay, there you go, and then just press it down, and then you can see like I have these little tails up on the top. I just press my finger down and then just kind of lift up on the artwork here. This one's kind of not really crooked there, Lisa. There we go, and I don't care if I have crinkles and my washi tape. 
And then I'm just going to scooch this forward. Actually, what I should have did was do that side first, but whatever. It is what it is. And then just take the washi tape on this side. And then just, again, do the same thing. And then just press it down. And then, again, just lift up. And you'll hear it kind of pop. And then it flips. It'll flip real nice. So you can see it flips quite a bit better. And then I'm going to put this one in right beside. And I'm just going to use the same washi tape. So again, I'm just going to go like that. And just like that. And flip it over. And then just like that. And then I'm going to do it to this back side here. And there you go. There's the little hinge. And then I just really press it down firmly. If I want to make sure that it's going to stay 100%, then I will go over it with some matte medium. And there's the two pages in there. And then it's kind of nice because it gives you like a different kind of surface to work with because now I have a long page and a short page here. So, and then the last one I'm putting in is this watercolor paper. And I want to be very careful where I put it because... Um, this is watercolor, so you want to make sure that whatever you surface you work on, it's protected. So I'm just going to stick it in here for now and, um, hope like heck it does not get ruined. So, because that will make me cry. I worked really hard on that one. So I'm just going to stick it in there like that. And then I might go over top of it with like a spray just to protect it so that way anything over top of it can be easily wiped off. And just that side there. So there you go. Super fast and easy way to get your separate little artwork into your journal just in case you weren't aware of you know that little idea to get your artwork in there. So Anyway, that was a tidbit video for today. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.